Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> let me just start off by saying I have no makeup on. I wear glasses. My camera is balanced on some dishes. <laughs> my room is trashed. I got pimples everywhere. This lighting is awful. <laughs> this is off to a really great start. But I mean, it's okay. I mean, I ain't mad. Hopefully, hopefully you're not mad. We'll get through this together. The struggle, the struggle can sometimes be real, you know? Anyways, what is the point of the video today? Um, today I am going to be teaching you how to make a perfect dance bun every single time you do it. So, <laughs> the reason I'm making this video is because I have a friend, her name is Olivia, and last year, during competition season, I helped her with her buns every competition. And since I graduated, I obviously won't be there to help her, so this video is targeted for her and girls just like her that want to learn how to make a bun perfect every single freaking time. Every time. First thing is first. Probably the most important decision you're going to make when it comes to your bun. No, but seriously, this little thing can make or break your entire bun. If you have very, very thick hair, you want, like, one of these. Like, with the netting, not the foam. Because the foam isn't going to hold it as well. I don't know if that's, like, a fact, but as far as everything I've tried, it doesn't hold as well. And if you have really thin hair, you want to get a bigger donut because it's going to make your hair look more full. You catch my drift? You, you picking up what I'm putting down? You picking up what I'm putting down. Also, you want to get something that's pretty close to your hair color. I mean, this is not exact, but it's pretty close. Because just in case you do mess up and there's a little bit peeking through, you don't want to have blonde hair and have brown donut showing. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just gather your hair in a ponytail. Most people would say brush it first, but honestly, with this method, it is up to you. If you want to leave it a knotted mess, go ahead. <laughs> now, if you want a typical high competition bun, then you're going to want to put your ponytail about right here. Like, it's a little bit lower than the crown. Elastic. I suggest keeping them on your wrist because it just makes it easier to access them. Three times, good measure. Ta -da. I know what you're thinking, Abby, that looks like a bumpy mess. This comb is your best friend. I know a lot of people that don't do this step and it's very, very obvious, especially in my old studio um they wouldn't do it and they would get this huge bump like this in the back of their bun and it just doesn't look clean like it looks really really bad and a girl on my old palm team her name is Allie and she used to talk about how doing this made her feel like a coconut head and you're gonna feel like a coconut head and that's okay like just slick it back as far as you can before you even think about this like Put this aside, you have to deal with your ponytail first. Your ponytail, if you don't have a good foundation, you're not going to have a good bun. Simple as that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hairspray. I prefer this, it smells really good, it's really cheap. I love it. I just get it at Walmart. But you just spray, and then all you're going to do, you're going to take this and brush it all the way back to your ponytail. And you're going to get these really ugly bumps. But that's okay. Do it all the way around your entire head. Next thing that's really important, I actually have to take my glasses off to do because a lot of people forget about this hair and it's really important. So, this, this, you have to make sure you spray it. So just get close to your head and spray. And then just wipe it up. It'll be clean. Okay, your ponytail already should look well, mine feels pretty smooth. I'm gonna put my glasses back on, making sure that I don't get the hair back under it. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray again. You're gonna take your comb again. You're gonna go like this, get it clean back. 
you just make sure you get your hand, make sure it's clean. Next, you're gonna take bobby pins. Use the closed ones, do not use the open ones. I cannot express the difference between a bobby pin and a hairpin enough. Make sure that the wave side, like the wavy side of the bobby pin, is down. And that's gonna secure that piece of hair. So you're gonna do that all the way around your entire head. Sometimes I use my mouth to hold my bobby pins, that sounds really gross, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Again, the back thing, that's what's gonna help get rid of that ugly bump thing, is this step right here. Spray. and bobby pin the huge bump as close to your ponytail as you possibly can. Okay, so this is where we are. We are at a very slick, very clean, a lot of hairspray ponytail. So I'm going to lift my ponytail and I want you to really look at the bumps by the ponytail. And I want you to know that those are supposed to be there because you're going to use it, the donut is going to cover it and you're not even going to know. The most important part is to make sure that this is smooth. So I'm going to rotate so you can see. to the actual bun which is my favorite part so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little donut there's a hole just put your fingers through it and you're going to put it your ponytail right through the donut just like that this next part I know a lot a lot a lot a lot of girls struggle with it so I'm gonna do my best to give you my tips and tricks on how I get it so what you're going to do is you're going to evenly disperse your hair around your donut. Just feel it. Feel where the hair is and feel where there needs to be more. Just cover, cover it and feel it. Okay, you're going to take a little bit of hairspray. And just comb it down. Now you're going to take another hair tie, and this is the hard part. You're going to stretch this hair tie, put it around the donut, and let it go. Notice how there's not any bumps. Sometimes girls do it and they'll get like things like this, and they'll leave it, which is not a good idea. If you ever feel that, do not leave it. Please, don't leave it like that. If you feel this, take it back out. Brush it down again and try again. Try one more time. So stretch the ponytail and just slide it on. Make sure it's tucked on all sides. Just slide it on. Part it. Then you got this, this <laughs> awkward little midway hairstyle thing going on. This next part, you're going to need elastics. Now, if you have blonde hair, I suggest using white or clear, but sometimes you don't have white or clear and black works just fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to separate all of your hair into two sections. So you have 
these two sections like this. Okay, so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna start on this side, and you're going to part it in half. Then all you're gonna do is hairspray the section and braid it. Just a regular three strand braid. Here's a trick though. I want this braid to wrap around my hair this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my hands back more when I'm braiding them so that the hair will naturally want to go that way and I don't get an awkward bump. Once you reach close to the bottom, take an elastic, I'm happening to use black today, and you just secure it. And then since we braided it with our hands going back this way, you're gonna wrap the braid that way and you see how like there's not a bump right here because it's not fighting you. Sometimes it will fight you, I know that sounds <laughs> kinda weird for your hair to fight you, but you know, it's okay. Now you're gonna take bobby pins and you wanna go see the elastic, put your fingers so you have three fingers, and that's where you're gonna put your first your first bobby pin. You're gonna put one more in between the bobby pin that you just placed and the elastic. And okay, sometimes when you push in your bobby pins, they come right back out. That just means that you need to move it, if that makes sense. So go down and see it didn't pop out this time. We're gonna do one more on the other side of the elastic. You have this little piece that sticks up, but you're gonna wanna get that in a minute. So we're gonna do the same thing with this piece of hair, except for when we braid it, we're gonna hold our hands more forward. That way this braid will wanna wrap the other way. Okay, trick for my girls that have really, really thick hair, Olivia, um, you're gonna want to do more than just four braids. You're gonna want to do six, which just means that instead of splitting your hair two sections on each side, you're just gonna split it to three and just do three braids and just alternate which like way your braid goes each time have layers I don't but if you do um, you're gonna want to use gel I would use gel on your hair before you braid it and also I would use more bobby pins and braid like where you and bobby pin it where you need it so if you see a piece sticking up just bobby pin it real quick and it won't be a big deal just like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. But that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this helped you a little bit. Um, I would just like to remind you that I didn't have a mirror for over half of it. I just finished the other, the second side in the mirror. But anyway, for over half of it, I didn't have a mirror. I did not brush my hair before. I left it super curly and like crazy. And it still worked. Like, this is still pretty clean. So, basically, like, I mean, whatever is going on with your hair, this method is bulletproof. You should be able to get a pretty decent looking bun. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn close, especially with all those things going on. And I'm just gonna, like, rotate so you can see how it all looks. Like, okay, so. And I have been guilty of not brushing my hair or not straightening it for competitions and I still had one of the nicest buns because of this method and once I discovered this, this is the only way I will do competition buns and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully it helped. If it did, give this video a thumbs up and share it so that you can help your other fellow dancers. We're one big family so we want to help each other out. Um, comment what you thought 
if you have a suggestion for me, something that you would do differently, let me know. I might, I would try it and I will let you know how it worked for me. Subscribe because I'm going to make new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.